we're doing part two of a full body workout that I like to call Don't Spill My Soup. In order to do this workout properly and effectively, make sure you've done part one first. You get the link above. There's an added benefit to this section, the part two section as well. If you've ever done an exercise called burpees or where you're lying down on top of your hands and pressing your weight up, well, you might find that that's really difficult on the wrist. Lots of pressure, right? Well, what this does is it takes off, alleviates the pressure from your wrists, but still gives you a full body workout. Again, in order to make sure that you're alleviating the pain on your wrists during this movement, you must do part one first. Again, the link is above. For this workout, you will need a plastic or tin bowl, something that's very light, and something to fill to the brim of your bowl that is not hot soup, that is something like socks, or if you don't, don't have a bowl, you can also grab multiple pieces of paper, something that feels heavy enough that when you're doing the proper form, if you move, these papers will move too, but they're not gonna fly away while you're doing the movement. Okay, are you ready? Let's get started. Oh, and you'll probably also need a pillow. And if you like this workout move, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video so I can create more workouts just like this one too. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your bowl with whatever is brimming out of it that isn't gonna hurt you. Place a pillow underneath the knee because you'll see why in a few seconds. You're gonna place it underneath the knee of the leg that is straight. Lie down and the leg that is straight is also gonna have an arm at a 45 degree angle. Take your hand and push it down onto the ground. The name of the game is to keep the socks or whatever you have ribbing from your bowl inside of the bowl the entire time. If you have pieces of paper, those pieces of paper cannot move from a flat hand at the top. Okay, from here, take a deep inhale. As you exhale, push with the elbow and push with the foot that is on the ground. Exhale, come up, keep that soup from spilling. Keep whatever's inside brimming from spilling. Then from here, we're gonna transition onto your hand, but in order to alleviate the wrist from doing all the work, you're gonna push with your heel and your foot as well. Press your hand into the ground and lift yourself up. So right now, there's some pressure on my, on my wrist, but not too much. Okay, let's take this to the next level. Push with the heel that's straight and push with the foot and come right up. But we're gonna transition this leg onto your pillow. So right now, even though my hand is still on the ground, my wrist isn't feeling it too much because I'm on the knee here. Then from here, you're gonna reach yourself forward. Reach yourself forward just like this. We're turning so that the heel is now equal to your knee. Then from here, push with the top leg. You need to place your hand on the leg to help lift you up and come up. Okay, we're gonna take this backwards now. You're gonna start by doing a mini lunge. If you need to hold on to something, make sure you're close to something. So we're gonna take that mini lunge back and bring your knee right down. Notice how the soup still is not spilling. My arm is working, shoulder rolled back. The soup is not spilling. Okay, so now your heel is equal to your knee. We're gonna turn that heel in because we're gonna start to take it back down. Soup has to be protected, soup protected. Hips come up towards the sky, squeeze your bottom, place your hand on the ground, and then from here, come all the way down onto your elbow and lie back down. Leg comes out. Let's do this again. We're gonna do this three times because it's a full range of motion and yes, you are concentrating. 45 degree angle here, soup stays high up towards the sky. Exhale, lift up, you're onto your elbow. Then from here, we're gonna push up onto the hand and push with the heel and push with the opposite leg up. We're gonna transition, we're here. You're gonna lift yourself up, lots of ab work here. Turn the heel so it's equal, so that it's equal to your knee. Then from here, push 
with the toes and with the heel of the leg that's on the ground and come back up. Let's do this backwards again. Holding on to your soup, take it back. Big, big, big lunge back. You're coming back down onto your pillow and then turn the heel. Turning the heel, we're gonna reach back, squeeze the bottom, keep that soup up, keep that soup up. And I'm gonna go a little bit further this time, all the way out just like that, keeping that soup there. And then come down, come down to the ground, onto the elbow, and extend out the leg and come back down. One more time. Are you ready? Exhale up, push onto the heel, reach up with that soup. Reach up with that soup and lift. Bend the knee up towards the sky. Reach. Your in heel is equal to the front of the hip and push yourself up. And back down again. Squeeze the bottom, take it back. Your knee is coming back onto your pillow. Then we're turning the leg. Reach way back, reach way back, reach way back. Hold it on here, reach way back. Taking it out. And come down onto the elbow and extend out the leg. Perfect, okay, let's do the other side. Again, the name of the game is not to spill your soup. I'm gonna scooch down here and place that pillow underneath the knee. If you don't have knee issues, you don't need to worry about having the pillow there. It's more if you have knee issues. Your wrist should also feel like it is having help from your legs and it's not that hard on the wrist. Okay, so here we go. In this position, oops, okay. <laughs> I'm switching sides here, okay. Um, in this position, pillow is underneath the leg. 45 degree angle with the opposite side. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, you're gonna push up onto the elbow. Reach that up towards the sky here. Your soup is not spilling. And then reach up onto the hand. From here, you're going to lift your hip high and we're transitioning that leg back. Okay, now push up, push up. If you need something, if you have problems, with getting all the way up, you can always grab onto something, help push you up as long as your shoulder's in alignment. And then from this position, we're turning the heel so that it's equal to the hip and stand up. Okay, let's take it backwards again. Squeeze the bottom, come down with the leg. Okay, and now we are slowly, slowly but surely gonna take it backwards. I'm gonna transition this heel in Take it back, take it back, and down. Elbow comes down, and straighten out the leg. Okay, ready? Reach that soup up towards the sky, all the way onto the hand. You're coming right onto the hand. Reach it up, lift the hip high towards the sky, bend your knee in, holding it here. We're gonna push up, push up, Hold it here, transition so that the heel is equal to the knee, and push up. Let's take it back down to the ground, squeeze the bottom, push back, just like that. Perfect, great form here. We're turning the heel again. Reach back, reach back. There you go, holding that soup, it's never spilly. Come right back down to the ground, onto the elbow, and release. Only a few repetitions, but it really works the entire body, the arms, the abs, and a little bit of cardio too. Remember, you can use things to hold on to to help you get up from each position, but over time, you wanna make sure that it's your abs that are working to lift you up, that there's little pressure on the wrists, and that you are feeling this as a full body workout alternative to doing burpees or other things that hurt the wrists. Okay, I will see you next time. For more motivational fitness and nutrition tips to make 50s and beyond the healthiest and most vibrant years of your life, visit aliciajoneshealthyliving.com. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel.